Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the Lutron Cassetta Occupancy Sensor or Lutron Cassetta Motion Sensor. You can use this to trigger to turn on your Lutron Cassetta Smart Light Switches, and you can also use it as an occupancy sensor to make sure your switches turn off after a certain amount of time if motion is not detected. So the first thing that we need to do to get this set up is install the battery. So we just take this battery cover off here on the back, and then we're gonna take our battery, insert it, and make sure we have it in the correct orientation. It is a CR123A battery. So you can see right there, CR123A, three volts. And then we're just gonna put that battery cover back on the device and clip it in place. Now we need to set this up, and what you need to do is download and install the Lutron Cassetta app if you haven't done so already, and then log in after you create a username and password. Once you're there, go to the home screen, which we're at right now. Now we're going to set this up on the app, but we want to choose which room we're going to set this up with. So I've got master bedroom lights and office lights. I'm going to choose to set it up with my office lights so that this will control that set of lights in that room. Now, in order to do this, I'm gonna click in the upper left-hand corner on the settings button in the Lutron Cassetta app. Now, we're going to click add a device right here at the top, and all we need to do is wait for it to show the different device selections. Here, we're going to go through and make the selection for the motion sensor, which is right here. Now what I need to do is press and hold for 10 seconds on the top of the device. So you can see there's a light bulb button and a test button right here. I'm gonna hold this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You can see it blinked, which means that it's ready to set up. And then it triggered all these different rooms we can set it up in. So we had our office as the room that we wanna set it up in. So we're gonna click on office right there and then we're going to click next. Now our office motion sensor has been added. I'm done adding devices. It took us back to the home screen and you can see our Lutron Cassetta motion sensor and occupancy sensor have been set up. It's right here as a device in the office. So it will control the main lights in the office through the Lutron Cassetta motion sensor. Now, once motion is detected, it'll automatically turn them on. However, you can test this out with these two buttons here at the top. So you've got the test button. We're not going to use that one. We're going to use the light switch button, and you'll probably see that the lighting changes in the room when I press this on. There we go, and I can press that off to turn it off. Now, there's a couple different elements in terms of how you can control this and adjust the sensitivity. So on the back side here, you've got three different settings. You've got a timeout, activity, and auto on setting. If you wanna adjust the timeout for this, which is anywhere from five to 30 minutes, you click on the button, it will hold until it blinks, and then you can make your selection. And then once you've made that selection, so let's say I just wanna make it five minutes again, I would let it say there, and then I would press down again and hold until that LED turns solid. Now I could go to the next activity and I could adjust this from uh, low, medium, or high. You hold down until it blinks and then you can adjust through any of these. So let's say I want it on medium. I can just leave it on medium. I made my selection as blinking and now to select, I hold down that button again and once it turns solid, I let go and I can adjust the auto on the same way. So in order to adjust, basically what you do is hold down till the LED blinks, and then you can press the button to make a selection, and then you hold down again to confirm that. Now, another way to do this is you can go in the motion sensor, and we've got different motion sensor settings here to test. So let's test the auto on again, and you'll see the lighting change here because I'm in the room where this motion sensor works, and I can test the auto off. Now, I can also edit the device here and go into some of the settings, so I could change a room if I wanted to have this control a different room, and then you can change which lights or fans you want included in that particular room. So I could click right here, and if I had more lights in that room, I can make a selection for those. So let's click on this and see what else we can do here. It says auto on, you can have it all the way on, or you could select a dimming level, 
or you can select the auto off uh, where you want that. So let's just click save because these are how I want my settings. I want it to go auto on and turn on all the way, but you could change that to a different dimming level. You can change the active hours here. So right now I've got it set up for auto all day, or you can have it auto off all day, but you could change this to certain hours if you click uh, only at night, or you can set a custom time. So let's click save because that is the settings that I want there as well. Now, if you have trouble with this, you can click in here for your sensor settings instructions, and it will give you a little bit more information on what you can do. So now let's take this device and let's see if it will automatically motion trigger in front of the light switch that I'm going to install it at. We've got our Lutron Cassetta light switch that the Lutron Cassetta motion sensor is connected to. So now we're ready to trigger the Lutron Cassetta motion sensor and Lutron Cassetta occupancy sensor to see if this works. There we go, we can see the lights turned on, and you can also see that the light turned on here on the light switch. So our Lutron Cassetta wireless motion sensor and occupancy sensor is now completely connected. Thank you for watching this video of how to set up your Lutron Cassetta motion sensor. We hope you enjoyed it, and please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.